Hi guys, welcome back to Q Squared Life. So today um, I am going to be making some fried fish, some fries, and a cucumber tomato salad. And I'm just gonna show you my ingredients and how I make it. And then we're gonna get into it and we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna, you know, taste my delicious food at the end. So please like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and without further ado, let's get into the video. So tonight I am making homemade french fries. Cut these up, I'm gonna fry them in the oil. And then I'm making um, fried fish, I'm making some cod, and I'm using this seasoning for my cod. So I got one pot for the potatoes, one pot for the fish. And this is my fish. I seasoned it with uh, onion powder, Himalayan sea salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm gonna um, get a plastic bag and put the fish in the Louisiana fish fry batter. All right, see you in a minute. So here's the fish. I seasoned it on both sides with all my stuff here. And now I'm going to put this fish fry in a plastic bag and put the fish in and cover it and fry it. So I put the batter in a bag. And so I'm coating them. I got, I'm just doing two at a time pieces at a time and I put hot sauce because I don't know that's how I do my fried chicken so I wanted the fish to fry really well and crispy also so I put some hot sauce in there so the fish is in there I'm just going to make sure that it's really golden brown. I like it. Okay, so this is the first two pieces. I got two more pieces to fry. And then here are our fries. Those are looking pretty good. Alright. And then we'll just have like a salad. Oh my God, this tastes so good. These are the other two pieces. I'm warming the oil back up because I let my daughter do the fries and they're kind of soggy. They kind of taste like mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna fry them a little harder. That's that. So instead of making a green salad, this is the salad that's going to go with our fish and our fries. So I have the Asiago Romano, the sweet tomatoes, cucumbers, green onions, they're all in here. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of this Kin Simply Vinaigrette Greek. Just pour a little bit of that in there. Not a whole lot. And then mix that up. So the tomatoes are in there. So just mix that up and then that will be our salad for tonight. Okay, so we got the cucumbers, tomatoes, green onions, the Asiago Romano, which is really good. So this is our dinner right here. So the cod that we fried with the Louisiana fish fry, our um, golden potatoes that we fried. I had to double fry them because my daughter made them like mashed potatoes. They weren't even crispy. And then our salad. So we'll plate it and taste it and tell you what we think.
Okay guys, so this is my finished product. So I have the potatoes that I fried, um, and then the salt, I put Himalayan pink sea salt, I'm trying to cut back on my salt and stuff, but you know. Then I have my cod, my Alaskan cod that has the Louisiana fish fry. And I have my salad, which is green onions, cucumbers, tomatoes, um, some of the Greek dressing that I showed you guys earlier. It looks so delicious. So, so now I'm going to get into it. I cooked our fried fish, our fries, and our cucumber, tomato, onion salad. So now I'm going to do my taste test. This fries, amazing. So good. Super delicious. Good. Okay. Now we have the cod. The fried cod right here. Look how good that looks. Mmm, that is so tasty. Super delicious. That fish is really good. I haven't cooked fish in a long time. <laughs> so, as I was digging into my food, my plate fell. So, here's my food all on the floor. But guess what? I picked up my fish because that ain't going to go to waste. I'm going to eat that. So that was a quick break because all my food freaking splattered on the floor. So I had to go get some more. Doggone shame. I'm so mad too because I was so hungry. So anyway, here we go. Here we go again. So the problem was I was trying to get my cucumbers and my tomatoes and it just flipped off the table. But it's good though. But it's good though. So good. Super delicious. So, my daughter's over here. She doesn't want to be on camera because she has her bonnet on. Whatever. I'm eating on the camera. Oh, I almost got her. I put it close. I almost got her. That's that. Potatoes are good. I still got more. <laughs> there she is. Fish. Fried fish. Made it myself. It's so good. It's crispy. Look. It's good. What fish is this? 
It's cod. You like it? It's good. It's like not too fishy, huh? It's good. Still got some more. Almost done. So, I'm sort of excited. For when school gets back in. So that Christy can go see her friends. Because being cooped up in the house all day is, uh, is not the best situation. Even though stuff is starting to open up right now, it still kind of sucks because you're not really able to get out and do a lot of stuff. Like where we live. Uh-oh. I almost dumped my plate again. I almost dumped my plate again. Oh my God. I would have been <laughs> so mad. I would have been hot like fish grease. Get it? Hot like fish grease? Fish. Yeah. So the county that we live in, curfew is 6 p.m. So like a week or two ago, I think back on the first, they said, oh, we're opening up the pool. Okay, cool. You can't bring any guests. You can only be residents. All right. You gotta have your mask in the pool area. Right. But they're not asking you to put your mask on in the pool. They're saying, like, if you're not in the pool, to have your mask on. You got to clean down the pool. I mean, the, the table and the chairs. When you get there, then you got to clean down the table and chairs when you leave. So you got to bring your cleaning supplies to the pool. Come on now. Um, so that was it. And it was only open from, like, I don't know, like from 9 to 5.30 or something like that, but you can only be in the pool area for like one hour. But they barely cleaned the pool before. Before they really did not clean the pool, so just imagine what it's going to be like. Anyway, so I think, yes, no, today they left a letter saying, just confirming the pool is open. However, you got to make a reservation to go to the pool. Who makes the reservation to go to the pool? So you got to call the office and say, oh, I would like to get into the pool between 9 o'clock and 10 whatever. Whatever your hour period is. And it's the same thing for the gym. You can only be there for an hour. So. That's really quick. Oh, look. I'm gonna slid again. I need to get a hang of this. I need to find me a table like B Love where it's high so you can see the food while I'm eating so I don't have to be down here like, oh yeah, this is fish. <laughs> so, this is what I'm doing right now. It's really good. Mm. I'm so for this hair keeps getting in my mouth. That's so nasty. I'm trying to move it. But it's not working out so well. Maybe this is better. You can see my food. It's my last little french fry. You didn't eat much of your um, cucumber salad. What's up with that? <laughs> Did you like the fish, though? The good. You didn't eat the whole piece. Faster, yeah. The fish? How does the fish make you full faster? That's just cold for I don't want to eat it. No, it's cold for it made me full. I don't understand how fish makes you full. Now, she can eat french fries all day long. That don't make her full. 
Mm, okay. But this cod, with this Louisiana fish fry, bang status. So good. Where did you get this? Because usually it tastes like fish. Yeah, so I got it at, I was going to get some um, frozen fish, but then I was like, no, I'm not doing that. So I went to the counter in the grocery store and had to give had them give me a pound of the cod and it was like 9.99 a pound so i got a pound and it ended up being like two fillets And then I just cut them in half and fried them. So, next time, maybe the other Q of Q Life Square will be in the video. And let me tell you so the French fries. I said, Christina, you could be responsible for the french fries. I mean, all you got to do is put them in the oil and watch them, right? Well, lesson learned for her, I hope. You can't watch stuff on your laptop and cook at the same time. So she kept telling me, are they done? Are they done? So I went over there. They're floating, whatever. You know, I had her take some out so she could, you know, test them and see. She, oh, yeah, they're fine. Then she put the other ones in. And then at the end, when I was done cooking the fish, I went back and I looked at the fries and I tasted one because they look kind of not done. They straight taste like mashed potatoes. Like it was all mushy on the inside. Like, it's not a french fry. So then I had to heat the grease up again and put them back in and fry them. So that's the story behind the fries. It's I'm almost done. Because they were uh, it might be because they were different potatoes too. Because they weren't. Yeah, because they weren't the brown rusted potatoes. They were the golden ones. Because that's what I had. I had been making home fries with them, but for breakfast. But Christina wanted some French fries, and I didn't have any French fries. So, I just used what I had. You said you were gonna have oh my God. pasta. Pasta? You said you were gonna do oh, on Friday for uh, Father's Day, oh, wow. we're going to order some Olive Garden. So we're going to have some pasta and some uh, lasagna for Father's Day. Because I really kind of didn't feel like cooking. Um, and, you know, whatever. It's just easier. So that's what we're going to have. And so I don't want to have, because I was going to make the fish tomorrow, but I didn't want to make, like, fish and fries and all that on Thursday and then on Friday, excuse me, when we're doing Father's Day to have the pasta from Olive Garden and the bread and the and the Alfredo sauce that you dip the bread sticks in because that's what I'm about to do. So we'll just have like a, a salad in between. So we're having fish today. Tomorrow we'll have salad and then Friday we'll have the Olive Garden. Now what's that? This bitch is so good, okay? Got me acting crazy. I, ha I really haven't made fish in a long time. And like Christina said, this fish is really good. It doesn't taste fishy or anything, so I think that's even better. Remember when we tried that Italian place? And the pasta, like, everything is, like, 
undercut. Oh my god. You're talking about the one like a like a month ago or whatever? Yeah. Oh my god. So I had this idea that I wanted some pasta. But I really wasn't feeling all that well. So I didn't want to drive all the way to Olive Garden. So the closest Italian restaurant is Romano's, I think it's called. Romano's Macaroni Grill or something like that. So I called. My last piece of fish. I called and I ordered. I got like Italian nachos. I got um, chicken Alfredo. I got chicken, chicken wings. Like but all this stuff because I was hungry and I was like, okay, it's Italian food. It's going to be good. That was not good at all. None of it was. I think I dropped a piece of fish again. Um, none of it was good. So, anyway, stick to what's good. Half of the time, when you try something new, it doesn't work. And then sometimes stuff that you've been eating for forever, like different places, like they change it up and it's not good at all. Right, Pringles are different. There's a lot of stuff is different. Okay. This is so, so good. So one day I'm going to get my camera together. I'm going to get me a table together like be love. So when I get ready to eat my food, I don't have to be on this low table and flip stuff off of the dog on table onto the floor, wasting very good food. There she is. <laughs> Got her. Anyway, so we're going to get a better table. Um, I have my microphone, so I'm going to make sure I have, you know, my microphone because it's kind of janky to have your, uh, whatever this is hanging out your ear. So next time it'll be better. But since we're on lockdown, oh, is that fish on my arm? No, that is nasty. <laughs> I mean, come on. All right. So next time, uh, Hopefully we have our setup together. Hopefully uh, the other cue is in the video. We'll see. And um, we're going to try to start doing our videos more regularly, you guys, and putting some makeup on my face. Okay. But anyway, I will see you guys later. Hopefully next time Christina will be in it. Oh, she says she will be. Um, so I'm going to ask that you like, comment, subscribe, please, so we can get it popping. <laughs> and turn on post notifications. And turn on the post notifications because we do like to do videos. We just haven't done them in a while because, you know, I've had some health issues and a lot of things going on. But we're going to do some better videos and we're going to start posting more regularly. So turn on the post notifications, please, you guys. See you later. Peace. Oh, wait, we need to do our... I know, let's do this. I think this is what it is. Like this. Q. Q squared. There she is. There's hers over there. We're Q squared life. Q and Q. Peace.